catch you in the morning. We're going to work out. And then JK News. Holy crap, I can't think. Love you. Have a good night. You know Mike has the OnlyFans now? You do? Yeah. Feet pics. For your feet? Yeah, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, but it's cool. You go to the side and he'll pay you to watch. Yeah, who do you uh, think would actually pay me? Someone like brought that up. I'm like, ain't nobody paying. You have to show your feet? Never, oh. huh? You always wear socks. Yeah. What the hell? What does that mean? <laughs> On the OnlyFans or in general? You're just shy. For my feet? You're a shy boy. I'm an island boy. <laughs> You know how uh, Dude, Taika was screaming "Island Boy." Oh, uh, that's <laughs> you have to post that. That'll be the funniest. Thing. It's like, so funny. Did you ever get him flexing? Dude, we should get him. A, we should get him like a fake wig or do his hair like oh, them, yeah. dude. That would go viral. He was just screaming it. What were we watching that he said "Island Boy"? I think there was something on TV too, like someone's at the beach or something. And it was just like a, an actual <laughs> Island Boy, and he was like "Island Boy." <laughs> what? Do you show your feet on purpose? What do you mean? I'm Asian. I'm always barefoot. Why does every culture but American say that? What do you mean? I have a friend from South Africa and she says that. I have a friend from whatever and they're like, yeah, like, I don't know. we're always barefoot. Americans are weird. They, they go to sleep with shoes on. Okay. <laughs> you do watch I don't shows. know a single watch... human that sleeps with their shoe on. Yeah, they I do. Know. Who? You watch the shows that they jump on bed with their shoes on or they're like laying on the couch yeah, with their shoes dude, on. Yeah, that's so weird. Uh, laying on the couch. I... That's okay, Mike, Mike, team. you're not white. For, for, see, when the argument wins with you guys, I'm white. When the argument's <laughs> against me, I'm not white anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. how it works, dude. <laughs> I understand the sitcom. You're Puerto Rican. The sitcom of the 90s where you're like, rough day at work, gotta kick up my feet, and then you get the shoes going, and then you do one of these guys. Well, that's why like, you watch the Stanley Seymour commercials, and it's like the people walking around their dirty ass carpet with their shoes, and then they finally clean it, and it's white. Middle Easterns never clean their carpet, and it's white the whole time because they never oh, walk with their shoes. Shoes, I, I don't do that either, but I don't think it's a cultural thing. It's Look just Mister uh, Mister Rogers. He, he he's got indoor shoes. He goes inside the house, takes his shoes off, and puts more shoes on. He's got an indoor sweater. Yeah, see. I kind of do that. That's that American bullshit. I don't do the indoor shoes, but I kind of have a fit that I'll wear in the house. Because I do feel dirty. Like, if I go to the gym like this, even if I don't not, sweat. Not all white people. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rogers is a G. I heard that movie so good. I heard it was good. Oh, Tom Hanks? He's a great actor. I don't know, but I just heard, like, the story of Mr. Rogers. Oh. Uh, well, that one, it was, it, this one that just came out with Tom Hanks, he, seems he was, like, getting prostitutes and stuff in it. Oh, uh, well, then maybe not. Yeah. Was he actually? Oh. Dude. Why don't you be my neighbor? You probably didn't even watch that. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. He's next to the brothel. Yeah. <laughs> it just happens that the brothel lives next to him. You've been squatting for 12 years and you just decided this last month to work on your squat? Yes, dude. I'm better late than ever. You're about to witness the most beautiful squat in the world. You ready? You ready? I'm ready, dude. My heart is open. My eyes are clear. Rate it uh, zero to ten, and then rate mine. We're talking beauty, beauty only. What do you rate it? Eight and a half, nine. But don't tell him. What do you think? It's good. It's not as pretty as mine, but it's um, highly bar quantum improved. Improved. Pretty. Hurry up. Mine's gorgeous. I may not be the strongest. But god damn it if I'm not the prettiest lifter on the planet. Not me, but it, you know? Let's go, Mike. Just like a cylinder and a piston, baby. That's not a Smith machine? How is this bar pad so good? I thought that thing was a goddamn well, rail. Make it love to the weight.
Like like deadlifting. Deadlifting. Yeah, it yeah, feels like water. the same. Yeah, it just felt like death. <laughs> Full body. These days you're like deadlifting a couple times a week? Or twice. And what do you do on the other days? Do you do uh, bodybuilding or So not? main days will just be barbell, a squat, a bench, and then deadlift. And then the other days are more like the end of your workout. So I just take that workout and kind of... Uh, so some days powerlifting, some days kind of bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, more dumbbells. Mostly just for my mental. So I don't get bored. Yeah. Because if I just bar, I mean, I powerlift for 12 years. So like you just squat every day or yeah. every other day. I'm just like, man. So to get me kind of going just to like be healthy, really. Yeah. I'll, I'll split it up almost pure barbell. And then I don't want to touch a barbell. I'm going to go do something else just uh, to kind of keep the variety going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like two days. Uh, Mondays, it's more of my kind of powerlifting, more strength and conditioning. Wednesday is more my bodybuilding. And then Friday is my uh, powerlifting. So people always talk about like, what's optimal? Like who, at some point, who cares? Because I could write you the most perfect program, although optimal is like, like uh, it's kind of like Subjective. perfectionist. Well, it's not even. It's like a, it's like a goal you can never reach, right? Because um, to yeah. be actually optimal, you have to micro. There's there's information. All aspects of your life. Right. There's sleep, water, right. all that stuff. Yeah, it's Stress impossible. Levels. It's impossible. Yeah. Even in the gym, who knows yeah. if you need three reps or four reps today? You don't. Yeah. Right. You do yeah, yeah. a good enough amount of work. Yeah. But what's most important is that like you could do it for ten years. If you can do it for ten years, you're gonna get better. Yeah. But if you have the most optimal program, you only follow it for a week, or my program that's just kind of made up, well, I'm gonna get better. Back in the game. Here's a little wet. Days like this, I, I, uh, I'm a two shower guy. Two, yeah, two day shower guy. Back at home, depending if it's summer or not, I'll be a two, two day shower guy, but um, sometimes, keep this between us. Sometimes I don't shower before I go to work because I'll shower at night. So I'll work out mid, it will work all morning. I'm not stinky. And then I'll work out and then I'll go home and shower. And then sometimes I even shower at night. So still a two day shower, but once like afternoon was nighttime and then wake up clean. I heard once that like dudes, dudes shower at night, ladies shower in the morning. They like surveyed folks and that's just how it go. Um, when I'm chilling in the morning, I could do it. If I can like sit down on my desk, have some coffee, then I shower, then I get ready. But when I'm open in the gym, I just kind of jam. Long story short, I showered this morning because when I create a lot of content, I like to kind of be on, you know, we did a barber brigade, obviously the vlog for y'all. Um, we did a barber brigade shoot yesterday in the day. So I like to wake up with a shower and some caffeine. And then now we're going to go shoot JK News. And I like to shower to get my head right, get my body right. I think it's an old habit. One, everyone kind of feels better after a shower. I think you always feel a little fresher. Um, but it's an old habit from basketball days. I used to shower before practice and games, kind of wake up, get your mind right. Just kind of part of routine. Uh, good workout. Heavy, some heavy pulls. I don't know if I even got footage. There's so much going on, I tried to lift, but deadlift like 550 off some blocks for three. Heaviest shit I've touched in a while for sure for reps. Um, bench a little bit, squat a little bit. Now we're chilling, fam. So heading to JK, I'm about to catch an Uber. Not sure how much we'll vlog, because um, JK News, if I mean, you guys probably know, but um, it's kind of like a comedy topic show. And we film, I think, 20 episodes today. So it's just bang, 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 bang. You can't really, we, we, we eat for like 40 minutes and bang, bang, bang. You're just back to back filming and choking and talking. So I got to get my mind right. Got to get a little coffee. Um, you guys hear me say mind right? You might think I'm stupid, but like, and maybe I am stupid, but to keep up with like conversation and to like try to be on top of it for like eight hours straight takes a lot, at least for me. Um, a brain power and then like physical energy. I always feel drained afterwards in like a good way, but same with like podcasting long. Um, Cause you want to be like quick hits, not always funny, but you got to always like think ahead. And so my brain's like going like this. Um, my brain's kind of going like that all the time anyways. Maybe that's why I'm always so tired, but uh, yeah, a lot of concentration going on. So a little caffeine, a little coffee, JK news day. This may be the end of the vlog. Who knows? We might be able to hit some clips in there, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, vlogs coming on the way. It's good. Good to be back in LA. Although it's not my favorite city, uh, it holds some of my favorite people. Um, some of my favorite memories and especially Barber Brigade always have a special spot in my heart. So, um, LA living man, appreciate you. Brand new vlogs weekly.